Hi everyone, I'd like to read you a story called Arthur's Eyes. It's by Mark Brown. This is Arthur before he got glasses. He looked fine, but he couldn't see very well, and sometimes he got headaches. Arthur had to hold his book so close that his nose got in the way and he couldn't see the board. Francine had to read Arthur the problems. Are you blind, she always asked. Francine got every problem right, but Arthur didn't. No one wanted to play with Arthur. Arthur's father and mother took him to the optometrist. Dr. Iris tested Arthur's eyes. You need glasses, the doctor said. Arthur tried on all kinds of frames. He chose the ones he liked the best. You look very handsome. In your new glasses, said father. Everything looks clear, said Arthur, and, your mo and his mother said, you look very smart. But the next morning, his friends laughed at him. Francine called him four eyes. Sissy Buster shouted. None of Arthur's friends wore glasses. No one in his family wore glasses either, and Arthur felt horrible. He didn't care if he could see. He didn't want to be called four eyes, so Arthur decided he would lose his glasses. Arthur put his shirt in the laundry. In the front pocket, he put his glasses. His mother found them the next morning. You have to be more careful, Arthur. You're lucky they weren't broken. That day at school, Arthur hid his glasses in his lunchbox, and he told his teacher he forgot them. But now things were harder to see than ever. When Arthur walked down the hall to the boys' room, he had to count all the doors. He opened the door. Francine was talking. What was Francine doing in the boys' room? Get out of here, screamed Francine. This is the girls' room. Arthur bumped into the wall. He couldn't find the door. Now all the girls were screaming. Out in the hall, the doors were open and the teachers all looked outside. The principal appeared. Everyone was looking at Arthur. Arthur turned red. He wanted to hide. The principal took Arthur to his office. Then Arthur's teacher talked to him. Why don't you keep your glasses in the case in your pocket as I do, he said. You wear glasses, asked Arthur. Yes, for reading, said his teacher, and he took them out. They look just like Arthur's. He suddenly felt better. He went to his lunchbox and put on his glasses. In the gym, Arthur made 10 baskets. Francine only made four. That afternoon, Arthur didn't need Francine to read the problems on the board. He got everyone right. Arthur could see Francine's paper. She missed too. After school, Francine asked Arthur to be on her team. I'll think about it, Arthur said. Next morning, Arthur was very surprised when he saw Francine. They're my movie star glasses she said. But there isn't any glass in them, said Arthur. It doesn't matter. They help me concentrate and make me look beautiful, said Francine. That afternoon, a photographer took the class picture. Just a minute, said Arthur, and he took out his glasses. He carefully polished them and put them on. Everyone ready, asked the photographer. Wait, said Francine, as she went to the, her purse to get her glasses. She took out her movie star glasses. Okay, I'm ready too, said Francine. Smile, said the photographer. Wearing glasses is cool. <laughs>